Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are in my new studio for the first time. I'm so excited to be filming. Um, one, I haven't filmed like a sit down video in a while and two, this is my first video with my new background. Um, if you haven't seen my studio vlog, I'll link that down below. You should watch that. Um, I have a second part coming soon. Um, once I get motivated to finish this room up, it's just a disaster still. Um, you're just seeing the pretty side of it. But besides all those little announcements and stuff, today I am filming a Sephora makeup skincare haul. Um, this is kind of a collective haul. I've bought stuff. Most of the stuff is from Sephora, but other stuff is just kind of random pickups that I've bought. Um, I was actually running out of like all my skincare like at the same time, so I made a huge order on Sephora with um, some of my favorites and plus a couple new things. So some of the stuff I haven't even tried, and then some of the stuff are like longtime favorites, and then some of the stuff I've tried a few times, so I kind of have a first impressions on it. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just jump right in. Here is my big box. Of stuff. I'm just gonna set it up here because it makes it so much easier for me. May not be the prettiest thing to look at, but what can you do, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna start with skincare just because I think there's more skincare and we'll save the best for last, which is all the makeup goodies. I'm just grabbing the biggest thing I see in here. This is my Cinema Secrets Professional um, Makeup Brush Cleaner. This was featured in my prom get ready with me vlog and this stuff is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure this is like very well known in like the pro artist um, area, Hollywood, all that kind of stuff. I bought the huge size just because I am a makeup artist that does like clients at photography places and stuff like that. So just use, having this big bottle is nice for all my client brushes, um, but they do have smaller sizes for like every day. So you pour it in like a little cup or something and you dip your brush and then swirl it on a paper towel or a towel and I swear it cleans them within like 10 seconds and it's quick drying so then they're already like dry. So this is great to do even daily if you want to clean your brushes every day or if you're just rushing and don't have a lot of time to deep clean them because deep cleaning is a huge hassle. Deep cleaning your brushes can take like over two hours scrubbing with your hands and soap and water and then you have to wait overnight or even longer for them to dry, especially those big dense brushes. So this is just awesome for every day, even just like it actually really cleans them. So I'll even use this like every two weeks on my brushes as a deep clean. Um, just because it literally, this takes me maybe a half hour to do all of my brushes instead of over two. So this stuff is just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. Okay, next on to one of my favorite skincare brands of all time. Almost all of my like hands down favorite skincare products are from this brand and it is Origins. I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, they're very common. Um, they, I know they have a lot of really cool stuff and I feel like they're bringing out more and more new and like trendy things right now. So let me know if you want to see like a whole Origins video, first impressions, haul, something like that. But this is one of my favorite everyday face cleansers. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face wash and I love this day and night it's gentle it makes your skin feel super clean but it doesn't leave it dry it's almost it feels almost like a lotion honestly when you wash your face and it really um, lathers up on your face which I absolutely love so I use this day and night and then I have two face creams so I have the origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer which is always in this orange container this is a very popular product at origins let me open this up I've bought this over and over again I've probably bought at least 10 of these um, this stuff is just awesome comes in a little jar like this and I use this in the morning because it has that like energy boosting really citrus scent I love the scent of this um, this is great in the morning and it's almost it's like a gel consistency so putting makeup over it is like really good it doesn't get too clogged or too heavy and something very similar to that but for nighttime is the high potent high potency nitamins oh that's really hard to say um, and it comes in a similar jar but like a darker brown color and this is like very comparable to the ginseng one but it is for nighttime so it's a little bit thicker a little bit heavier has a lot of amazing things for your skin in this so I love applying this at night 
To go along with my face cream during the day, the Ginseng, this is brand new. They brought out the Ginseng Energy Boosting Spray. So you know all these companies are making sprays now, whether it's to set your makeup, whether it's to prime your face, or whether it's just kind of like a boosting sort of thing. This is definitely like a boosting spray. Um, I like spraying this like throughout the day over my makeup when I'm not wearing makeup. I think it's best for when I'm not wearing because to be completely honest, the spray on this is like not good at all. I almost want to like transfer it to another bottle because I don't know. I know it's not a makeup brand so they probably weren't thinking that. I just love this. as the same scent as my moisturizer and it really just helps my skin feel refreshed throughout the day. And I actually bought this before I even went to Clearwater. If you saw those vlogs, that was when midwinter break, so like six months ago. Less than six months ago, I bought this before that because I wanted to try it out. And I think I got like a free ginseng moisturizer with it, whatever. Um, but I left it at the pool and it was like completely gone. I checked lost and found. I asked the hotel. I asked everyone and they couldn't find it too. So that is their new ginseng facial spray. I also recently purchased the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. And this is one of their most popular masks. I also use like their whole line of masks. The charcoal one. Um, they have a rose clay one. Their like drink of water. Their hydrating one, I have like a bunch of mini sizes that I use all the time, but I know I heard a lot of good things about this because this is like an overall mask. If you're going to the store and looking for a mask, there's like oh, some for acne, some for dry skin, some for pores, all these different types. And if you don't know what your skin is or if you just need like an overall mask to help your skin out, this stuff is awesome because that's what it's kind of made for. Um... Out of trouble it just kind of helps everything so if I'm feeling dry but I also have um, acne and stuff like that going on I like to use this because it's kind of gonna help everything at once um, it reminds me a lot of the face wash because when you wash this off it almost turns into a cream so I love this face mask definitely something to have around like all the time because it's easy it's fast only takes 10 minutes and your skin just feels amazing after using this I swear this video is not promoted by Origins, but the next two things I did get sent from Origins, but all this stuff I bought myself and I buy their stuff regularly anyways, but just so you guys know, I just want to make that little disclaimer before I show you the next product. So this, I, I feel terrible that I don't even have it with me. I actually can't find it because this is the one thing that like I bring to the gym with me, I bring to the pool with me, I bring to sleepovers, I bring um, on trips. I bring this everywhere with me because it's so convenient. I have the little box that it came in, but I don't have the actual thing itself. I, I can't find it right now. I'm sure it's around my house somewhere. Um, this is the Origins Modern Friction Cleansing Stick with Exfoliating White and Purple Rice. And I know this is one of their newer products, like I was saying earlier. I know they're coming out with a lot more, like, cool, trendy, um, new skincare products that are out on the market. Um, so it comes in, like, a little stick, and you take the lid off, and it's like, it's like a hard, like, ball on top. And you just rub, you go in circular motions all over your face. And I usually use this when I'm not wearing makeup, so I'll take off my makeup first with a micellar water or something like that, then cleanse my skin with this. So you go around your face, it has that rice in it, so it's almost grainy, so it's really exfoliating the skin. And then you add water, and then you wash your face with the product that you just rubbed on. And it comes in like a little stick, it's amazing for the gym, I love using it. Um, at my gym like right after I work out because then that like sweat that was all on my face and the grime I can just get it off right away super fast I'll try and insert a picture or something of it, but I'll definitely link it down below I highly recommend it the next product they sent me which is also new to their line is the origins clear improvement activate charcoal exfoliating cleansing powder to clear pores and it comes in this little box and this stuff is so cool I didn't even know what this was like when they first sent it to me, I was really surprised when I used it. Um, it comes in this little bottle, and then when you open this up, there's like a little hole. I don't know if you can see that. And it's actually like a black charcoal dust. Okay, I'll show you. When you sprinkle it out, it's literally like... Excuse my nails. I'm going to get them done right after this. But it's def it's like a straight dust. And so you pour just like a little bit more than this on your hand, a little drop of water, and it turns into like a cleanser or like a liquid almost, and you clean your skin with this, and this is definitely meant for, as it says, clear improvements. So I definitely love using this when my acne is just super bad, almost like the acne that where your face like actually hurts. Um, from those big cystic acne problems. So I love using this. I don't use it all the time because I think it is 
a little harsh to use every day. He's definitely don't want to use this every day, but if I really feel that my skin needs a good clean for that those acne um, spots on my face, I'll use this after my cleanser. So cleanser, then I'll use this as kind of like a second cleanse, and then I'll go with my moisturizer. But I definitely love this. I think it's a really cool idea. It's kind of fun to do, um, too, and I just... I love charcoal for acne. I think it really works. Um, the charcoal mask is very similar ingredients to this, and I love using that as a spot treatment on my acne as well. So definitely check this out as well as that stick cleanser I showed you a second ago. Okay, so next, I did a post about this on my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me, I'll put it up here. It's just at Emily Jean Beauty. I actually bought these a while ago, but I wanted to show them anyways. These are actually from Urban Outfitters. Um, I don't think Sephora carries these, but I know Ulta has them, and Target might have them. This brand is all over the place. It's from Korea. Um, I highly recommend buying these at Urban Outfitters. Yeah, you get four for ten. I literally bought like eight of them, and I know at Ulta, I swear they're like four dollars for one. So I highly, highly recommend checking out your Urban Outfitters closest to you to see if they have these. I love them because they have so many. I think they have like over 12 different kinds. Here I have a moisturizing one, a skin purifying one, brightening one, vitalizing, and elasticity. And sheet masks are just awesome to always have. Um, they're a lot easier than a cream mask. I honestly recommend to do a sheet mask every day if you're really crazy about your skin. I would forget a lot of the times just because I'm always out doing stuff. I'm never always in my own bed at night, um, stay out late, different things like that. But I definitely highly recommend to use these all the time. Um, it's super relaxing and I think these are some of the best out there for a really good price. So just check these out. Next is nothing super fun. This is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover and the reason I bought this is because, you know, when you're at Sephora swatching stuff, all that kind of stuff, and they have those little um, stands with, like, a makeup remover and then, like, I think it's alcohol and the other one that you can clean off your swatches. This is the stuff. This is the same stuff that's in that little bottle. And every time I use it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it takes off my swatches. Like, amazing. And I've never picked it up because it's kind of expensive. And when you're in Sephora, you, you always want to buy, like, the fun makeup stuff, not eye makeup remover but I finally picked it up and this stuff is absolutely amazing I wouldn't I don't use this every day but when I have a lot of eye makeup on like I do right now or um, I had false lashes liquid liner anything like that I love just squirting some of this on um, a cotton pad and then holding it over my eye for like 10 seconds and then wiping away and it takes it off like that. Highly recommend this if you're looking for something to take off your um, eye makeup. It's a lot easier and softer on your eyes than like a makeup wipe because those you can tend to wipe and you don't want to wipe back and forth on your eyes. Um, that will create wrinkles and just kind of irritate your skin overall. But I definitely highly recommend this for harsh makeup removal. Next is a very highly rated product. I actually bought this from Ulta, but I think, honestly, I don't know if Sephora carries Mario Badescu. I never know how to say that. Mario, 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 Mario Badescu. I don't know. I'm sure you guys know this brand. It's all over the place. They definitely have this at Urban Outfitters as well. And this is the drying lotion. And I never bought it because it is quite expensive for this little bottle. But my best friend uses it all the time. And I just see so many stars and YouTubers and other people that I know using this. And what you do is take a Q-tip and dip it into the pink clay at the bottom and then the liquid. So you dip the Q-tip into the pink, take it out and then spot it all over your spots before you go to bed, you wake up. This almost comes off during the night when you're sleeping, and I swear this is the fastest acne um, treatment I've ever used. Sometimes it'll be completely gone by them. So if you're looking for a really good spot treatment, definitely check this out. I know it's a little expensive. I think it's like $16 for this little bottle, but it's completely worth it. It's the best acne treatment I've ever used, and I've tried the Origins one. Um, I've tried like some just at the drugstore. Um, I use like charcoal masks on them which work but this is like the fastest one I've ever used. Be careful. It says it on here but some people miss it. You do not want to shake this. You just want to dip your q-tip in the bottom and then tap it on your face. So be careful packing with this traveling. You don't really want to mix these two liquids together. Okay, now we're kind of getting out of skincare but still somewhat skincare-ish. This is the Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray. 
um, the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is very, very popular. Almost everyone and their mother uses this stuff. I needed to get a backup. I haven't bought this in a long time. I'm always repurchasing my MAC Fix Plus, but that is more for wetting my brushes, setting my makeup, um, just to make it look better, not really long-lasting. And this is definitely a long-lasting one. So um, if you're looking for a really good like makeup setting spray to use, I highly recommend this. Honestly, I don't use this every day just because I like my Max Fix Plus just to make my skin look better. But for special occasions and for long night outs, I definitely love using this. Um, the sprayer on this is hands down the best spray in the makeup industry. Everyone says it and it's so true. So don't be worried about spraying your face and getting droplets or anything to ruin your makeup. I was actually just doing um, a client's makeup and she asked me that. She was like, I never understand how these sprays don't ruin your makeup because you're spraying like a liquid water onto your face and there's droplets. But if you get a good spray and if you get the right thing, this will really work. That's why I was saying I use my Origins, usually when I'm not wearing makeup, just because the sprayer is so bad on it. But yeah, definitely check this one out. Next is, um, I lost the lid and the box. I'm sorry, I put this in my kit, like, right when I bought it. But this is the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray, and it says 16-hour wear. I wanted to buy this just because it's a cheaper alternative to the all-nighter, and it's, like, the same type of thing for prolonged wearing your makeup. So I haven't really used this a ton on myself. I've used it a few times, and the sprayer is actually very, very good for drugstore. Um, but I usually use this on my clients like all the time because like I said right when I bought it I threw it in my kit and usually when stuff goes into my kit I never get it back for myself, but I'll definitely try this out a few more times uh, Maybe in my next makeup look and I'll let you guys know my feelings on this because it's definitely a good alternative to the Urban Decay one price wise next thing um, which is super exciting for me um, One of my best friends bought this for me for my birthday her mom works at a salon around us and this is just like the makeup brand they carry in their salon. I've never heard of it. But when I did her makeup for prom, she brought her foundation over and I used it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this foundation is beautiful on you. It has a really high glow, um, natural look to the skin. So she bought me the foundation for my birthday. And um, this stuff is amazing. It's the Mirabella, Mirabella Skin Tint Cream Foundation. I'll try and link it down below. Um, I've never heard of this brand until she showed it to me. Um, it looks like this. Nice pump glass frosted bottle. And again, I want to use this in my next tutorial of like first impressions or just kind of like new products um, because it just gives your skin such a nice natural glow look to the skin. Um, it, this is awesome for dry skin. I highly, highly re recommend this for dry skin. So, um... Yeah, stay tuned to see this one in action. Next, these products are super exciting. Um, this one kind of got ruined because it was in my makeup bag and that Cinema Secret stuff spilled everywhere, so the box like got all ruined. Um, I actually wanted to film a first impressions on these, but I already used them because I went to a concert and I was like, oh, I really want to wear that on my eyes. And then I also used it on my friend for prom. Um, but these are the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm sure you've heard all about these. They're almost sold out like everywhere. I'm kind of late to the party. But I got one of the famous, one of the like really popular ones, Smoldering Satin. I'll swatch it. Smoldering Satin. It's like a champagne-y, rose gold, silver one. Um, I feel like this is one that like everyone can wear. It's actually definitely a lot more silver than I thought. So that is Smoldering Satin. It is so bright and shiny. The only downside about these is I, I've heard and I happened to me as well when I went to Blackberry I used this. And when I was at a concert I used this so I was wearing it all night long. And over time and over the night glitter kind of like falls off from it because after it's dry it's more of like glitter and it falls down on your cheeks. But I've heard if you use a glitter glue with these they stick a lot better so I'm going to try that next time. Um, but anyways, I got Smoldering Satin, and then I actually haven't used this one yet, and I'm doing a makeup look with this very soon. Um, my next product goes with this. I'll show you in a second. But this is Ballet Baby, and honestly, I bought it because of the name. Um, if you know, I used to dance and do ballet. It's one of my biggest hobbies. But it is this, like, light, light, iridescent pink color, 
and I want to do a makeup look with this so bad. It is so pretty. And actually, I found this one. This isn't part of their normal line. This one is like an Ulta exclusive, so I think you can only find this in stores at Ulta, the ballet baby. But yeah, these are super fun and exciting, so I definitely want to do a look with these coming soon. Now, to go along with that Ballet Baby um, glitter liquid glitter shadow, I bought this light pink shadow from Buxom because when I picked up the pink, I was like, I don't know if I have a nice light pink to put all over my lid because it's kind of my idea. I want to do like a whole light bright pink eye. So I just picked up a single shadow from Buxom. I've never bought eyeshadows from Buxom, but I swatched it and it feels amazing. This is in the shade Feather Boa. It's just a light natural pink color so this will be in my video coming soon I'll let you know my thoughts on it I've only swatched it um, haven't used it on my eyes yet next is um, this palette and I wanted to use this in the smoldering satin liquid shadow from Stila like as a whole video first impressions but of course um, I didn't have time to film and I just got anxious and I already used it. This is from Tarte, the Sex Kitten Eyeshadow Palette. And I have never used Tarte eyeshadows before, which is honestly, like, amazes myself because everyone uses Tarte. Tarte is such a huge brand and I definitely love their products, but I've never used their eyeshadows. And now I know why everyone loves them. Um, this palette is so cute. It's nice and little. It's like a little square. has a magnetic closure when you open it up has a nice mirror which is awesome and there's eight shadows in here and they're just very natural nice for day to night looks because you have those really bright shimmery shadows with mattes and then you have your darker shades down here and these shadows are incredible I'm still gonna do a video on it but it's not gonna be a first impressions um, but I definitely give this a thumbs up already and it's not crazy expensive because it's such a small easy palette um, this could definitely be like an everyday palette and it smells like it Smells like sweet. It almost smells like a Mac lipstick, which is kind of crazy to say because nothing smells like Mac lipsticks But from now on I'm definitely gonna check out more of Tarte eyeshadows and try them out because this was definitely a hit so Now on to a few lip products more from Tarte I've heard a lot of good things about the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipsticks, so I picked up two of them. Um, I got the shade 5 o'clock, and they come in these cute little marble blue packaging, very tropical, and this one is very dark. This is the one that I thought was more of like a regular nude, but it's definitely like a mauve purple dark shade. It's right there. Um, but I love these. I've already used both of them. They're super creamy, um, awesome, just like a regular old everyday lipstick. They have that cream formula so they're not matte but they're not super glossy and they have a bunch of nudes. They have other fun colors too but their nude selection in this line is amazing which I know is like one of the hardest shades to find for people because everyone with different skin tones has a different perfect nude for every day. So yeah I also got the shade Skinny Dip which I knew I wanted this one for sure because I've heard a lot of good things about this one. This is like their lightest nude in the collection and I love this lipstick with a super dark eye. It almost is, it is very, very pale. And some people aren't into that look, but I love it on occasion. Um, so that's that right there. I love this color. So next time I'm at Sephora, I'm definitely going to swatch a few more of these and pick up some more because these are very comparable to MAC lipsticks. Almost better and creamier than MAC just because it's a newer formula. Um, so yeah, I love these. Next, I picked up this Dior lip gloss, and I forget who it was, or if it was both of them, either, I think Jaclyn Hill talks about this all the time, and maybe Desi, I'm not sure, but this is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, and this is, like, when I look for a gloss, like, my perfect gloss, this is definitely it. I love the clear, um, minty, like, the Buxom glosses, clear minty very like gel like lip glosses instead of like a cream um and I know it looks very pink this is what it looks like I'm sorry I'm not showing you this is my first Dior product ever but um it looks very pink but it, this is just a super natural gloss to put on over every lipstick to wear by itself it's practically clear I don't know if you can where is it if you can see the gloss right there it is so shiny um I'm wearing it right now I'll put some more on
it just makes your lips look wet and feel super super hydrated and that mint feeling I love um, it says it plumps your lips as well which I'm sure it does because it has that minty feel I love wearing this on my own with no other makeup I love wearing it over lipsticks um, this is just a great gloss, and I definitely want to pick up a few more of these. Um, they're kind of expensive for a gloss, but it is Dior, and they are very, very luxurious. So, that's that. So, um, I'm going to move this box because it looks ugly now. That was a long video. I have to get editing. So that is my completed haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and definitely check out the products down below. I'll have links to everything. Um, let me know what you want to see next. I can definitely do a skincare routine since I bought all the skincare. Um, I have a few makeup looks in mind with some of the new makeup I picked up. See that pink eye if you want to see the sex kitten palette. I want to do a brushes video. I just have a whole list of videos to do. I've just been crazy busy, um, and I'm just trying to roll out as many videos as I can. Um, I am leaving for Dallas tomorrow morning just for like the weekend to visit my aunt with my mom. We're doing some work down there. So I will be vlogging that whole thing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.